Guys, what's up? It's Brian Mc here again with another guitar tutorial. M. Behold, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Got this numb little bug. It's a great song. Uh, I will mention uh, just because you'll see in a minute that there are a lot of bar chords. Um, just know that this is a song that you can practice that. Uh, and I have some information at my Instagram page uh, to help deal with bar chords. So B. Martin Sounds, just go there check that out um so we're gonna start with the bar chord b ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -da. so we're going um two two four 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 two well since we're playing this kind of by ourselves on the guitar uh we're gonna go down down up up down up up down all right then we're gonna diminish that uh two two four three four two Okay, down, down, up, up, down, down. Uh, we'll go to E, zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. All right, and then E minor, um, zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. And we'll just kind of go da, da, because then we'll do a little quick change, G and F sharp. Okay, G is three, two, zero, 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 three. And then F sharp two four four three two two. All right, and then we go back to B again. Da 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 da. Diminish it. Da da down E minor G F sharp. Okay, and then we'll, when we get to the next part, there'll be a little transitional E two three four E minor. All right, and then it'll be. Do you ever get a a little bit tired of life. Okay, so we're gonna go E F sharp. Remember two four four three two two, and then we're gonna move up to G sharp minor. So take your finger off of the G string and slide up two frets. So four six six four four four, and go chuck 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 down up down up. Right, E F sharp, G sharp minor, chuck a chuck chuck. Okay. Um, and then there is going to be a, a G to E flat to E G sharp minor. Okay. And that E flat is going to be six, six, five. So what I'm doing here is I'm going E to that E flat. So I'm going to, I'm going to make my chord, but, um, I'm going to lightly mute the strings behind it so that I don't play these, uh, these three strings or that they don't ring out. Now when you switch back over to G sharp minor, you need to press down, right? But then you're gonna go right back to this uh, E flat. Okay, so the whole thing again. E, F sharp, G sharp minor. Ta 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 ta, E, F sharp, G sharp minor. And then the third time, E, E flat, G sharp minor. And then E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat. Right? So you're going, you're just basically down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Okay? And then there's going to be another part after this. It'll go E, B, B, F sharp. But, right there. That's going to be on the A string. Four, six, four, two. And then go back to E. B, down, down, F, F. <laughs> it's a little hard to do. I, I would honestly leave it out if you want to um let set that uh, 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 okay so that's the second time and the third time uh sorry 
it's F G sharp minor, da da E D. And then you go back to E. Uh, uh, okay. And then we're gonna go back and start the whole thing over. So B ba da ba ba da diminish that ba da ba da da E da 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 E minor G F sharp. Okay. And then when we get to the other part again, right? And then we do that whole thing. Um, and then we go back to the E to B to F sharp. Right? And then the third time, G sharp minor, E, B. Okay? And then you go back again and do the rest. Uh, so... At the end of the song, there's something completely different going on. We got this E uh, to E flat um, to G sharp minor. Okay. And then we're going to end on a completely new chord. C sharp, 4, 4, 6, 6, 6, 4. Okay. So just those last four chords. E. Okay. E flat. So remember, you got to mute your string behind that. Okay, then G sharp minor. All right, and then C sharp. And that is your ending ringing note. Chord, sorry. If you have any questions, uh, like why I don't use the proper musical terms, please deliver them to me in the comments below. While you're there, like, subscribe. Let me know how you're doing. Um, you can check out some other videos here. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye now.